Hey, how you doing? I want to talk about lighting today. We're going to light our planted tank. How much light do we need? That's what we're going to talk about. So we have to talk about the intensity of the light and we have to talk about the duration of the light. Now in the old days we used to talk about 2 to 5 watts per gallon and we don't do that anymore because that has to do with incandescent lighting that nobody uses anymore. <laughs> nobody uses incandescent lighting. But um, so now we talk about or some people talk about lumens. I think if you don't have a par meter, you know, it's better to calculate the lumens, I think. Because on the package of your light, it will tell you how many lumens the light is. So if you can calculate how many lumens you need, you will be able to get a light that has the correct number of lumens. Or else, if you get one that can be adjusted, you can adjust it to the right number of lumens that you want. So how many lumens do we need per gallon now? So we need somewhere between, fif uh, sorry, not 15. We need somewhere between 30 and 75 lumens per gallon, okay? 30 would be your very low lighting for Anubius, Java Fern and the like. And then the 75 would be for carpeting plants, you know, your stems that are a little bit more finicky about lighting and such. And especially if you have a lot of carbon dioxide being pumped into the tank, you would want to go with a higher light um, because you want your plants to use up the carbon dioxide. Don't forget that fish shouldn't be inhaling, or they don't inhale, do they? They shouldn't be in water that has a very high level of uh, carbon dioxide. So you want your plants, if you're putting in a lot of carbon dioxide, you want your plants to be using up that carbon dioxide. That's why we turn the carbon dioxide off at night, because the plants can't use it at night. They have no light energy to use it with. Okay, so you have to decide beforehand, you know, you have to decide the size of your tank and you have to decide what kind of plants you're going to have and you're going to have to decide what kind of fish you might want because some fish don't really like low light and some fish don't like high light so you want to be you want to make uh, the ecosystem as comfortable as possible for your stock 30 lumens per gallon is a very low kind of light 75 is high light. Okay, so if you went somewhere in the middle, you would go out about 50 ish, 55 lumens per gallon. That's what I've done in my tank behind me here. So you take your number of lumens that you want, the number of lumens per ga gallon that you want, multiply it by the number of gallons that you have, and you will get the end result. So behind me, I have a tank with 40 gallons in it. It's a 55 gallon tank, but it only has 40 gallons. And I did that, I didn't use the 55 because um, it's a little bit shallower because of the s deep substrate. So I went with the 40 that it actually does have. And um, I wanted 50 lumens per gallon. So 50 lumens per gallon multiplied by 40 gallons gives you 2,000 lumens. So in total, I wanted 2,000 lumens, okay? Now, once you've got that number, then you can see what your light is willing to give you. And that's what it says on the package. It may, may even, it may ev either be, um, one specific lumen, uh, lumen count, or it could be an adjustable kind of lighting. So you pay more for that, of course. Um, I like to use compact fluorescent lights because they're easy for me to get, and I like the color of them. My plants seem to like the color of them. 
and they look pleasing because the color of the lighting is not just I mean it's mostly for the plants yes but you have to be happy with the light as well because you're doing this I mean come on we are, we are doing it for the look aren't we <laughs> some of us are anyways <laughs> I I actually quite a bit think about the way it looks so I like the look of 6400 Kelvin lighting and my plants seem to like that number as well so we're both happy so now I've got my numbers 2000 lumens and 6400 Kelvin I go to the store and look for that kind of lighting I go to the just the regular hardware store and I look at the fluorescent compact fluorescent lights because I like spotlighting so you'll notice this tank has two bulbs and it gives sort of a brighter light over where the stem plants are and then a medium light around uh, the java fern and such and then in the corner is an anubius and Another reason I do that is because it gives a play area for the fish and a sleeping area and they often do go over there to rest, especially the quarries. They really like the dark to um, have their nap or their sleep. So instead of having a strip light, this is what I do. If you like a strip light, then go with a strip light. Either way, it's going to tell you on the box how many lumens or it will be an adjustable light and you can adjust it to the number of lumens that you want. So here I have a 23 watt CFL and a 13 watt CFL and they add up to approximately 2200 lumens I believe some something like that 2200 lumens so close enough to 2000 and I'm happy plants seem to ha to be happy and that's all I care about for this thing anyways once I have the lumens that I want I'm gonna think about the duration of the lighting so there again you can go with a longer duration especially if you have a low light on, a low um, intensity, you can go with a fairly long duration. The things what, that we're gonna be concerned about here is uh, stressing out the fish or growing too much algae. The more light you have, the more it will tend to grow in your tank. So if you're getting a lot of algae, you might want to decrease your lighting. Um, these, these numbers that we're talking about right now are just your initial setup numbers. After you've set up, you're gonna take your coffee, sit in front of your tank and watch what's going on. Because from your observations, you can see whether your fish are, you know, are they always hiding in the dark because the, the light is too bright? Is there a lot of algae growing because the light is too bright? Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe your stem plants are looking sick because there's not enough light, all right? And then um, it will also have to do with your carbon dioxide. So a lot of stuff has to be worked out afterwards. But this stuff that I'm talking about today is for your initial setup. So you make sure that um, you, you have to decide for yourself whether you want to start off with a low light medium light or high light and from there you know you, you just adjust now for the duration of light i just started with a medium amount which was i thought eight hours a day was good enough i think it's nine actually yeah nine um from noon till 9 p.m and that's just more convenience for me than anything else uh, because you know after supper I can still have a bit of time to look at my fish after supper and, and yeah but I didn't want to go too much longer than that because 
even at this level I do get some algae so I don't want to I don't want to increase it uh, but the stem plants are happy at this level so I don't want to decrease it either so we're kind of at a medium thing all over I've got a medium amount of carbon dioxide a medium intensity light and a medium duration of light and it seems to be working so what can you say <laughs> now i hope that this video clears up a little bit something about the lighting um there are notes in the description that you know go into it a little bit more so if you need more information there's a little bit there but you know this is not a blog so it's not a blog, it's not a forum, you won't get a whole lot of information. I really encourage you to go to the forums and the blogs and you will get information there. And if you have a, a, a club near you, make sure you join it and go to the meetings. You will learn a lot. All the, uh, all the people that have a lot of experience are very willing to share what they know with you. Okay, so that's the way that I calculate lighting for my tank and then I tweak it as I go along. Um, I think I had two, yeah, I had two 23 watt bulbs in here and then I found that it was a little bit too much. So I changed it to, to 123 and 113 and I had it at about 10 or 12 hours per day and I brought it down to 9 hours per day and now I'm at a good amount and everybody's happy. The quarries especially like it because they have a nice dark area to sleep in and they like to play in this side where it's lighter and yeah the cardinals don't seem to mind either way so <laughs> they're happy anyway. They seem like they're always happy anyway. Okay, let's end it up here, wrap it up here, and we'll talk again next week. Um, take care of yourselves, take care of your fish, okay? See you next time. Bye for now.